Goedenavond. Hey, ik ben mijn gore gore zeshua. Mijn inzwaka. Ja, kun ik ook meer zeggen? Naak. But anyway, we have to talk about it, isn't it? Anyway, this afternoon I um I kind of mentioned a little bit of uh. In fact, Masquera say, uh, Lydia, thank you for saying hi. Hi, Mr. Bothwell. Hi, Tendai. Hi, Honeke. Nice, you're watching. Hi, Mr. Miyarazi. How are you? Yeah. Hi, Yuandi. Thanks for coming in. So this afternoon, I actually invited uh, um, people to so they can watch my video tonight. It's not um, a very nice video, of course, uh, because I have to say something from my chest. I want to hear my mother say, "Go, I'm tangiri." Ah, ya esta, esta tete, rasta, masquera, say. Um, hey, Emily, happy Good Friday. Yeah, Good Friday, really. Yeah, for some of us, not really, because, um, I want to swear, tete, ta swear, masquera. You know, um, man, man, I've been in the Netherlands for, for quite a while now, and, um, when I started working, my work uh, that I'm doing now, like uh, with my babies and uh, teaching people baby wearing and uh, working with a few colleagues that are passionate about it as well. Unfortunately, there are a lot of things that are also not going very well and um, a few people can actually witness that for me. It has been stressing me out uh, for a very long time, but I kept going on. I'm still going on, I'm never going to stop. Um, it's only that most of the time you'll be trying to work with people within officially you try to stay nice to keep your work positively and um, you want to be seen as a good uh, uh, consultant as a good uh, brand and you want to be seen as a very positive person and that uh, that's what I've been trying to do so far Yet, there are a lot of people working against you so much, so much they try so hard that sometimes they even reach you behind you with a, a, a knife or a spear. But you know, I came to, to this video, I came to tell you guys that I'm not going to stop. I, uh, I have even gained a lot of energy tonight, tonight today. I... Um, I think everybody has got their own blessings and everyone have their own uh, kind of people watching over them. And um, I'm not claiming that I do have that. But I believe working hard is also having faith in what you do. And I've uh, always have had faith in what my work because I know I do that with my heart. 
Uh, if I always had started uh, doing this baby wearing thing, wanting to earn a lot of money, wanting to be a millionaire, I think I would have dropped it f long back. But so far, I haven't been earning so much. I haven't been earning even what you can say, how much profit did you get every year? I didn't. But what I've gained so far is a lot of uh, uh, respect from people who practice my work, um, especially parents who have been through me. And um, feedback that I get back, that's my payment. So what I wanted to say is... Um, Instead of me sitting back and try to report that I'm facing racism in the Netherlands, I've decided to come to this in the video to tell you guys, this makes me stronger. I've become even much stronger than I've ever been. Um, I feel like all those obstacles, all those people who kind of steal your work and they gain money from it. Even last weekend I heard that people were like... Uh, they took the type of work that I use and uh, like we have agreements on how can, uh, our working conditions and who earn which money and uh, which customers and uh, which students uh, follow which school. Unfortunately, they don't take my work serious. They then decided to do that and they earned the money that I'm supposed to, that was supposed to be in my wallet. It's okay. I, 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 it's okay. I, I I think um, the most important thing, if they are happy with that, it's okay. Um, all I cannot say is that um, I have decided not to complain about it. I have decided not to complain about racism, even though it exists. I have decided to go on with my work the way I've always been doing. I have decided to even work harder. And I know... Since December, November last year, I have a lot of people from Zimbabwe that I know. And um, guys, I'm happy you are here. You're supportive. You're so much supportive. I feel like I have a lot of family around me. Yeah, and um, of course, a lot of Dutch people who support me as well. And I can mention a few names. Koneke, he's watching here. Stefan Klein, yes. A lot of people who have been with me from long back and who believe in my work, my husband, a lot of people that I can say thank you. If it wasn't a good job, it was, I wasn't going to have, uh, I just need to get a glass of water here. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> So guys, I'm back. I'm back again. You know, they say when you cry, you're not weak. Uh, cry is not a sign of weakness. So don't worry. Don't bother. I have to say, um, telling you this, it means I have decided to make myself a bit stronger and go on. You know, as a black person, starting such a work in Europe is not a, an easy job to do. You have to... Uh, Sometimes to throw some of your pride, you have to put it aside and you have to go on, fight. And sometimes you have to say to people, look, I like you, but we don't have to walk through the same door. We don't agree. But I think uh, for me to let my culture just go away like that because someone else wants to rewrite my story, I'm not going to do that. I have to go on and... Uh, all I'm um, hoping for is that uh, the support that you guys have is still going to be there. And uh, working alone is something that I'm used to. 
with my family. So, um, yeah, Netherlands is not an easy country to live. It's not an easy country to work with, with like, especially colleagues. But uh, there are a lot of nice people as well. So I'm going to put my focus on those nice people. I'm going to put my focus on those friends whom you see being on my Facebook. And um, I think, uh, yeah, Linda wants to be uh, on my uh, broadcast. Please feel free to do so. Just add yourself and then I can put you there. Uh, you know, um, Working hard is, does not mean you earn enough money or a lot of money or being a millionaire. Working hard is sometimes just put through, go through this kind of bullshit, go through this kind of shit that people put you through. And um, like you make a better today, you see it's being sold somewhere else with another name. It's okay. But you see also the same people come to you and they are very nice today. And uh, yes, David Kanjan. Hi, Jessica. The same people are nice to you, they come to you, they uh, they use you until they get what they want and they go away. But uh, does that kill me? No. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And I have become even much more stronger since I've realized I have a lot of Zimbabwean people around me. There are a lot of, a lot of Dutch people around me who are nice. And I have a lot of Scottish people around me, Irish people around me, a lot of British people around me. I'm so happy about that. And... Uh, I think um, it's important for me to be honest to you guys as an entrepreneur. Have you ever had an entrepreneur who cries in front of you? Maybe not. But I think it's important for me to be honest to everyone that who knows me at the moment because I may come up as somebody who is strong, but I'm a human being. Um, I am my come up to you as somebody who is weak because I'm crying now, but I'm a human being. And I want to tell you the thing is, if you are working with uh, white people, with Dutch people especially, and you are black and you're from Africa, you know it's not very easy. And you may, you may want to know right now that that's not an easy job to do because they don't have respect for the type of job you're doing. They don't respect your work. They take it over and they just leave you like that. And that's what's happening with me in the Netherlands right now. But I've decided to fight and I focus on people who are respecting my work. I'm not fighting for respect. I'm fighting for clients who are respecting my work, who I respect. Those clients who are really happy with the records that I have made for them, with the sport activities that we did together and um, with... Uh, the, the dances that we are practicing together and the toddler dances that I've been uh, providing at schools and the crashes and stuff and all trying to, to bring out the positive part of my culture. And of course, trying to teach my children our culture, which is very important for me as well. So practicing this and having the chance to do this is for, it's very important for me. But you know that sometimes it feels like you have to beg so to earn some money. And sometimes it feels like you have to, uh, I don't know, um, you, you have to, to, to let your work be proved by somebody. So to, be, to, to show that your work is then worth uh, look, looking at is then, um, no, I refuse to do that. And that makes uh, me look like I'm a hard-headed person. I look. I, I don't have to have a different work type of piece of work because I, I look different. I don't have to have a different piece of work because I am black, of course, I come from Africa. And besides, if you think um, in Holland, you can uh, create a, a form of a bond so you can put people down and you can let them not earn any money, um, it doesn't work with me. I have decided to go on on my own and like I've always been doing. Um, so I don't know. Um, this is what I wanted to say, that what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And I think it, it it's for many people. And that's why you see me sometimes responding uh, differently on Facebook. You see me sometimes writing stuff on Facebook. It's not because I want to teach other people that they have to behave differently. It's because it's about myself. That's how I make myself stronger. 
since I know now a lot of Zimbabweans are fighting for us to go back home and uh, we are all doing the same thing, I felt stronger that at least there are a lot of people thinking the same way. But the half of my life that I've built in the Netherlands, I'm not going to throw it that just type like that. I'm not going to do that. Half of my life is here. I am Dutch. I'm Zimbabwean. And that Dutch part that I have, I'm going to fight for it. And those Dutch people who know I have done my whole work here, changing the whole system, especially when it comes to the baby wearing and promoting breastfeeding, that's not going to... Um, that's not going to change. So I think um, you cannot just rub my name just like that and think, oh, Melissa Badding, oh, Melissa Vandira, Muchaneta Vandira, who has worked hard for 10 years here, her name, is, her, name, her name is going to be rubbed just like that. Not me. Not me. I, uh, I'm very happy. I would like to thank people who gave me the strength today. A lot of people who have sent me uh, messages in inbox. A lot of people who uh, who believe in me. There's a group of people waiting for me in Scotland so far. I'm going to go there in the end of March, maybe beginning of April. Um, and I'm going to, to the UK as well. There, there's a group of women, a group of mothers waiting for me. People who believe in my work. I'm really happy about that. And I hope in the future a lot of Zimbabwean people as well that we can work together. And I'm just hoping that um, things will go as smooth as possible. But uh, so far, the way things are going in the Netherlands, it's not really nice. But I'm only saying I pray to God that I go on the way I'm going on. And one day you will hear me selling a lot of Mbereko so I can manage to buy a ticket to go home. It's okay. So I wanted to get this off my chest, and I know my words are not very easy to get out of my mouth, but um, yeah, I know a lot of people. Uh, thank you so much for for saying this to me and giving me strength. And uh, when you see me dancing, sometimes it's just a lot of stress that I'm trying to get out of my my body. And uh, I'm happy you guys are there. I'm happy you guys are, are give me enough strength on Facebook. And before I keep on repeating myself, uh, somebody was asking me uh, to come on Facebook on the uh, on the broadcast. Feel free to add if you want to say something. Uh, of course, you're welcome to do so. I was no father. Mm. Ah. Eh. So right. Atombo, to that extent. Words are <laughs> not words. Are not words. Let me tell you. Yeah. But we are, we are to expect it. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. The visa. We are, to, we are to expect it, yes. And then this kuti musa cheme ka mufa na uchema, mufa na uchema, muchizi ya kuti, your brilliance is what's making people steal your ideas. Because I watch you, I watch you on your videos, I watch you doing your fitness, I don't watch very much of it because it makes me feel broody and I'm an off layer now. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be having any more babies, but I love it when, you, when you're demonstrating the Mbereko and the, 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 the stitching and how robust your, your product actually is. 
Um, so, Ndrukuti Nini, you are a queen. And queens, queens must mm-hmm. have a certain decorum. Shrukuti yeah. Rwaza, Tese. But it's not personal. It's not personal to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mega Maga Biwaga things to do with our identity. I know. That's why it's yeah. so painful, even. Yeah. It's it's painful. But even now, when we look at Easter, and it, when, you, when you say it's Easter, the identity of Yeshua Yaka Biwa, we all know. Could you assure what you are not aware? It's Easter. They were kupi. Yeah. So even here, I can end up through, and what you are going through, it's not a surprise. That's how the system works, and that's why you find even in Susu Digiti, Gatisimudzrane, in our culture on Facebook, we've got this medium. Because if you are ambitious and you've got talent, like what you are doing right now. Yeah. But 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 in that sadness and that grief, don't feel alone, Kutin Dirindega. And and don't let your crown drop because you are a, a queen. And Murugu represent a madzinza. And Murugu Ratizavanu, how babies are supposed to be looked after. Because the way that the African woman carries the baby, especially in Mbereko, is the way that it's supposed to be. You know, like there's a difference between the way we use our common sense and the way people use their common sense. So I'm not trying to put anyone down as such, but yeah, sometimes when you are then explaining, they are like kind of listening and then they, they go away with it like, oh, and now we can just funga earlier before one how come, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and don't let your crown drop off. You're not doing it for for people to give you accolades. The way that you, you, you do your Mbereko business and the way that you engage people in fitness, it's not just the baby who benefits. You also build a community around you. So I envisage even if you're not given a single penny, you do it for free because that's your passion and that's why it comes so easy to you. That's how I started as well, yeah. And of course, exactly. you, at the end, you start making my costs and you have to get, gain those costs back. Exactly. But yeah. exactly. So, mm. so, so, you know, Chemai, you know what, that test a gambo Chema or Tichi, Tichi suppress Koguma Basom. You know, when you reach a certain level, you are supposed now to get into middle management. You are supposed to keep going higher. There's that glass ceiling. Hey, what's so, the pass? Yeah, I'll find it going down. Mm. Uchimbuni kids, go uchi, people being really aggressive towards you, refusing for you to enter. But you know, nobody can take your gift away. Even when I tore and dismantle it, they will never make it. No, to no. That, to the excellence that you do. Yeah, or the way I sell it, of course, I realized that, of course, with Kano and Wano, we are, and uh, they will come for your story, they come for the way you uh, represent yourself, and I have a certain way of working culturally, I just do that, and um, yes. yeah. So, 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 yeah. so, 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 a different meaning, because often it's, it's darkest before dawn, you understand? I know what you and, mean. Yeah. And and perhaps there are certain things, business applications that you haven't applied to your product that you need to start thinking about copywriting and protecting the integrity that's of your that's intellectual that's property. Done. Mm, that's yeah? done. But in Holland, I have not that much respect to such things. That's the they, problem. Mm. Yes, they, they may not have it, but if it's protected and it's your product, maybe... Maybe it's 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 about looking at other opportunities. How do you keep making your revenue so that your ideas are not going to overtake you? But but the fact that they are stealing your ideas, it's a wake up call to you that you are onto something, and don't be discouraged by it. 
Magatora minda e kokoku. Saka stand your ground. You got a loving husband and your babies are very, very, very cultured, which is beautiful to see. So muka muka pindu waneka kuro waneana. Europe is becoming hostile. We expect it. And it yeah. is. No, that's the mentality at all. Yeah, because we are fighting against a few things and uh, well, not sure if in the little things that being taken away, uh, kind of, they, they are now taking things and keeping them for themselves. It's okay yeah. uh, on, on one side. On the other side, I'm thinking, why why we Africans still in the same position we are being put through? It's not it's not fair, one. And uh, two, I feel could, uh, there's another way of uh, respecting one another's culture, I think. And um, no. the other way around, it doesn't happen, does but, it? That, that will never be. You know, one of the things that I'm fighting for right now is for the remains of our ancestors to go back to Zimbabwe. I, I those, know, yeah. Those should have been volunteered in 1979 or 1980. So so, so certain people still regard us, say, Chiri Pasi Pavo. You understand? Yeah, they do. And, and, and and if you are broken by this targeted discrimination, you're going to you're going to project a role model to your kids. So that's how you have to really think about it. How do you navigate this challenge so that this is your product? You made it, you market it, that is unique to you. And how do I want my children to learn how to deal with complex issues such as these? Because you remember it, during slavery time, they used to do atrocious. They used to make, you know, sons uh, consummate vachitava near their mothers. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, your, your situation is far from that, but historically, the other week you were championing issue ya, ya McCartney. Yeah. Achi no tora, jar, kano tora, kagadzira, and then Iano and a lot of earnings from that. But there are a lot of seamstresses who are making superior products, but have a one the kind they of. Don't, they don't gain anything. They don't even earn anything. They, all, all what they are selling out there are my patents. And that's the problem. And uh, yes. it's okay, you know. On the other hand, like what I'm saying, what doesn't um, kill us makes us strong. It's true. Um, it's all the whole process is a bit painful, and it's um, there are so many ways that when you think, okay, uh, is this worth it? You know, because. Um, on the other side, no fungot ah she won't pay okay come chacha kanku ne rude ne neka sadza kankweji on the gare mukampa kangu kumwisha then and this I don't want to fight anything. But on the other side, no fungot there's so much to be done. There's so much to be done. Who is going to do that if we cannot do that? And of course, no bozara, you know, msoro ni wazara so much like today for me it's just because no one ever not to two man or two mid wari mat sampa zonzi ana tagazo dai tagazo dai you want to go because she's the witty chicha itika and go any my certificate say you make a map you cook it tabasa you shall move along and hit it as you know the way we agreed no they don't the idea is they would eve over tourists or the way you're working you are know, supposed to be out of the ground even over mm. to our position so i was like you can't even question them because then you get some tone policy, you get some, you know, Panama ways of Anushanda now, even from the slavery moments. That, that that hasn't changed. It's the same way you're being treated. You know, but, and uh, mm -hmm. but 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 Pano Diwa Wungwari Wacho Manji so that so that we don't respond seku respond a kakaita mazitate guredu. Mm-hmm. Semi trava kati tira isu sanditi saka a teacher retreat because vati vati shungurudza. Tino tuneta retreat because it suits us. Okay. Pain 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 is always a sign that you're on to something. It might be about rearranging your work or rearranging your assignment or reinvesting so that you beat them. 
Mm-hmm. You are there for a reason. And the, you see, it's it's not the people themselves per se, it's the spirit here in Jimbo. This was. Yes. So keep your crown on. Chema, if you have to, but we are watching. We are celebrating your successes. Even Makabash, your work, you started it. Yeah, you know, when you guys came, um, I think around October, November, some Zimbabweans started following Zimbabwean started following me. And yeah. in November, they became even more. Right. And then, yeah, now I have a lot of Zimbabweans on my uh, page. Do you yeah. know, could be the first people who saw Kutnaita and Bereko, they were kind of hey, Murugita and Bereko, that's nice. And you know, a lot of people started just talking about Mbereko. And yeah. that was the first time somebody ever confirmed that word. Yes. Yet Kuno Kuka, it was always a question, yeah, what's that Mbereko? You know, it's uh, how can you what, how can you call it Mbereko? What is it? You know, you'd have to I always had to break down that word, could be no, it's a baby career. Yeah, why would you call it Mbereko? Because eh, mm. this tai daif daifana kuita kuipa masita ya my mama remaking in products are you see? So I need a no 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 no. We call it Mbereko. You know, one sooner or later you discover what Mbereko chi from Zimbabwe. So uh, apparently Panamum scanaka wana an old dictionary from a museum. Yeah. A very old Shona dictionary. She can't uh-huh. Melissa, I have a present for you. Because my dictionary, my mother, you're going to baby sling, baby. I'm going to translate. I'm so happy that I understand. I'm going to copy that page in the on my website. But still, yeah. of course, I could not convince people. Until all these Zimbabweans came and they were like, hey, sister, you're doing better. You're, you know, but you're far. So that part is solved. I'm so happy and I, I'm so grateful. But when we are like, we're on the bad side. And uh, in a way, we're going to go away. So soon, we're going to go away. You know, because yeah. there is a word is something everyone knows. There is a product everyone knows about it in Zimbabwe. So uh, now no one so, is complaining about that anymore because as most Zimbabweans, we are like, Hammer, you know, it felt good. So that part, so, yeah, yeah, that part, part is solved. I'm just very happy. So I think, yeah, we are three, three more. And it's okay. Mm. I'm happy. Yeah. So, so keep your crown on. Keep your crown on. Keep doing your work. We only yeah. ever retreat yeah. on our terms. Santa Scana. Yeah, I will. Thank you. And I'm reminded of your other name, Rieri Reshona. Yeah. Muchaneta. Yeah. Muchaneta. Muchaneta. Ndivo vachatoneta. Yeah, and this also. <laughs> Giving up is not something I'm planning to do. That's definitely. No. And that's your product. So keep at it. It's yours. Thank you. It's All ours. Right, it's Wakanda. ours. Yes. It's ours, Wakanda forever. How's it not cheap? Yes. So, I love so, you so, so much, Tete Grace, and uh, keep up yeah, the work you're doing and uh, just have so much strength. Total simple, Sana. And yes. I think it will be fine. Exactly. We, are, we are counting on you. Dimakati Batre Koko. Okay, that was uh, Tete Grace. Look, here, she's leaving and I'm laughing. Uh, that's not, I mean, there's something about uh, uh, a family having a family around you, and uh, that's how I feel when I have Zimbabweans around me. Uh, there's no way I have uh, I have rejected a Zimbabwean when they uh, ask me as friend. Yes, I check up, I double check a po- uh, uh, I double check a profile, but of course I I don't feel like if it's a Zimbabwean I have to reject a friendship. So so far, yeah, I feel stronger when you guys are around me. And uh, yes, I used to feel strong as well with some, some Dutch people who are here. There are a lot of Dutch people who believe things are not going well and they should change. And um, so I think uh, sometimes you feel alone because you don't want to uh, show this on internet. You don't want to show uh, 
like a sort of weakness because you want to stay stronger. But I don't think being strong, uh, showing st strength which is uh, not real, is good. So I think uh, when I'm strong and I'm dancing, I'm doing things, my work, and I just want to have positive spirits. Uh, and it's important that when these negative feelings are around me, they have to to go out of my chest. And uh, yeah, Whew. I need to breathe in and out. And uh... let me add you, Thomas. I'm trying to add you, Thomas. Uh, just please try to request again. I'm waiting for a request. No, what happened is the Dambo bar up and completely in the Tombondo Tower and no one pan and got a problem. Yeah, so I missed a lot of bits and pieces. Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't you I don't know. I do I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I don't if you look at my profile, you can see that there are different races on my profile, but they all know where I'm standing. Uh, racism, equalism, and uh, being genuine in life. But you know, uh, the country I live in, the Netherlands, is not a very easy country to start a business as a black woman. It's not an easy country to live as a black person, uh, let alone being married to a Dutch person. So um, you have to stand stand out you say it's like to kukutsika but sometimes it's not yeah science because the others are shitty guys my work that i've been uh doing for the past 10 years but now in Boshanda office i didn't have problems with people but when i got at this this company and um they kind of do not respect Kuti. You know, they they just think Kuti. At nongo we are tongo tora ta ta to 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 talk to no treat treat and this to to ena Maria choyo ba Maya wanabasa. You know, something like that. And uh... anyway, yeah, so no, so I don't know, so no frustrate. But it take a lot of years to get to such a group. Not because I'm not saying Kuti. 
racism to Jagana. Kumusakwe, Kumusakwe Duchai. As long as he susu tisinga respect Tani Savan. Manopi, nobody will. It's also. Yeah. No pro no 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 problem number one i repo. Because um the chikana kuzi tari sa is also what you mono tora zoon fungwa ze fungwa ze mo the ze mumuna actually ngakupa e example ya gambo it gamazwanda is in the Pane to me to my groups it was I say in the bad and it's the wire. To need to try for South Africa. So, <laughs> what companies are it a it a share zuno? Let's say patepo to repan up. One for nera central stores. Yeah. One za we are to repan as this central stores. Why is for nera depot to repan do send me mondo to repan as supply in ya so we are mondo at zore as Yeah. So, one guy, a general hand, is on the other side, but I'm not going to put my deposit. S. Armenica. Zganga Zipo. Mumpada, just a general hand, I share my compa. Zganzaio. Muganpa Jan Zogina machine shop. I can try to make some reasons to talk about fun of saying this as an insertion. Yeah. Then he went, don't know, God, there is no. She had no donor. Tunchia to repeat. True to bata. Yeah. Right. For a man, you could Kuna manager, Gundoti. Munu in the away and regret. A kind of sa ye. Yeah. That's what happened. Away and a plan. Exactly. It's no bad. I can eat as soon as your ramba. Ramba kuregi. Ramba kuit. Wind up we are. Murungangari pop up manager and Gary Pate Pot Pacho. Because Muzia's mom did him Jagazir as Riku. We are a grammar because Bagarambagi Daga to Wagra and Babasaka and the Pikin of Pusher and Docher Macumba, a Panama Compound Doshe. Then manager Baka, so we are Queers and Zonga Jubu Gazari Kuramba Gitas Ganga, or we are getting the old ones of Greg. Quit. Sano Vazo Nam is Gano wants a bit kit at his guns, eh? No bandita, no one at the sewer, Zrutata, and the Vava Safer Forex is when you save an of South Africa. Yeah. So, E. Mavenga Nire Avakaita, Manage the Recap, Tim Lide, Mavenga Akaitam Panayaga. Can I want a Royago and I'm talking about Royaga? Saga, if you look. Because in Dagashanda Moon, Dagashanda number shall not say about this in the Cassandra me mind as we boom Macama and Agawanda, Kuzimbab, the Gatom Beta Mawopo. Yeah. Tine problem is Susu, Kumusha, we don't appreciate each other. So with the Avano, Pavano Taza, good respect. The Ganyas of Funganesa, so it's not bad. Quay Susu to no beta, and I say, Is Susu Pachedu. Because Tikangota is a good respect and I so it's very hard to have a respect because Vajuana Matamburate Nita Kumusakuya, Marisos is now and stuff like that. It's hard for them to have respect. Kushoko Munonaka don't go Kuzo, Sakanak. If you get my point, I do understand you. Uh, so it it means yeah. uh, because I always try to say this as well to like our people could see Tikabatana is so Tikabatana Tika like says you could whoever and over whom we shall quit Tikamutora Tikamisa Pabenga Apa and you put yourself at the same level totally stand at the same level the children like a simba. Apana no pinda pakati. Chino simba kuita chitina cha icho shoti. Pano so pinda mwamunu pakatika. Tineta towe mbe ruku. Baba, e, isho shoche kutamuru kurewa shua kuti. Sometimes even kusapotana, chaiko kupromotana, kana kungo. Pana na, you know, like shoche kuti, muna atawa la chakati wakutu mseke, wano kuta atawa or something. Even if ya ita ili mistake, kutuka na kwa toa itana pa mpa internet, pana pa sometimes. It's so ridiculous. What if in, wano wani kwa shua cha, they do watch it. They make use of it against us. Yes. Mesura, I was very sad. Um, my husband showed me a documentary. Because, you know, um, 
of course, after Black Panther, and we are all talking on the internet, we are rewriting our stories, kind of, we are starting to do such things. But they are yeah. looking now for a way of telling us that there are refugees coming over to Europe, or they are hoping that there will be refugees coming to Europe. They are now talking about my Hutis and Tutsis, trying to bring those kind of issues up, trying to remind people about um, about the wars that has been happening in Africa. It was a it was a documentary yesterday on a national television. The national television I've been with my baby careers recently, and uh, my husband was like, "But is is this new in Africa?" Game boys they are talking about it as if it's happening now, and I'm like, "Ah no, these are." all documents, look at that, the Hutis and Tutsis, and they're kind of making a document together, putting stories together to make a whole story look like, look at again at that poor Africa. You see what I mean? And uh, me questioning myself, me, I'm not trying to, when I'm, I am in the middle, of course. I'm trying to look at what is the reason why they keep doing such things? What is the other reason why they would do that? The other reason is because people are now fighting back. You know, Africa is going to work within Africa. We are going to, 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 to trade within Africa. Even though politics is not yet working very well in Zimbabwe, there are a lot of things that are changing positively. So, you know, from the slavery moment, from the moment when those uh, products they took from Africa, trying to uh, pro uh, produce here, yeah, like trying to machinerize here, yeah, kind of going back again, my woven stuff, but also a lot of art things, you know, anambira, vanan, you can talk of all sorts of things that are being handmade, kumba. Vanuagu believe in themselves. So Europe is being shocked about that. So why what they are doing now is again to brainwash people, especially at first brainwashing their own people with look, poor Africans need help. We need to bring companies like uh, UNICEF to Africa. We need to find out if there are many people who can agree with us so we can agree and bring some developmental programs to Africa. Who kills us? Are our people who agree to that? Yeah. Problem. Pro, 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 problem yet in Iomuniza. E. And DA one and in Ambo Funga in E. Never tat no patata very case, you know. China could come and take our resources yeah. away and again. Yeah. Some of we can, but then you have to hear you. We are not very organized and we pull each other down. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good at the because the Napa example, yeah, yeah, Japan. Japan, younger, younger guy, the miserable nation, the Bama, the Bama, the hundred and fifty years ago. But what, what did they do? Wakatanga to Miravan, Vavo, Miga, Sakasiana, Siana, Germany, Eco Kunogana, UK, and the United States. Vagando Zizamabas. Yeah. Don't have a Zita for a period of ten to fifteen years or so. Yeah. Then Van Vaya Wakangavando Zizamabas, Vakan Chitzo, Chitzo, I did the Saivam. And you can on Diana Sina product, Japan. You see? Pani Susu Kuno Ukana to Taurus Musunus Nessens. So just because we are a UK one of the Gabano Shami Sira Stereg. Ah, ah, as this reason. Saka Tika Rambati Nemendali Tio, Tijanga Tingo Chema sizes. Yeah. I understand you and the other things. Tarasai Kanabunga Wagu sport is Jago Bora. One Matema genetically, Vaga Simba. And so talented, but that side when you got to prepare, Zaga prepare, we in the world cup, you recall my mind. It doesn't surprise me, which is on by 11th hour. You got to go Africa, Zagutanga fighter, fighter, and Yama, Yama allowance. As you know, demoralize my players. Yeah, not only so that, I'm not you know, performing like an act. Most important of all, yeah. you're so talking that, about we black people as strong people, but it's not going to be for yeah. long anymore. Uh, you know why? Look at how much medication now we are using the the last years. Look at how much relying of processed food we are doing. We we are behaving like the way Western people have been behaving so far. And the Western people I know now are behaving as the Africans. The way we used to behave long back. That primitive way we call, we used to look down upon. You know, and we call ourselves, we are modern. 
that more than what we call of is like for instance my cards vano shanza ma tampons the ones who use my plastic pads the ones who use my plastic napkins evana using my prema ekupusha vana varume driving in large cars bringing those large cars kumba lot of pollution high pollution in africa look at dzimba dziri kuvakwa kumba ma toilets sitting on a chair which it at china instead of sitting in a player toilet they are that's going to kill Africa. A lot of people using my plastics and all sorts of things. I'm not, I'm not trying to be high organic person or whatever. But if you look at my Western, especially here in the Netherlands as well, they are, if you look at in the groups, they are teaching one another sewing. They are teaching one another how to use my, my organic products. Here I am under mentioner. They are learning baby wearing what in Bereko that you could say. So far, not so many African people are buying Bereko. Not necessarily to buy, they are not even using them. They take it as a status to use them, to, to use a prem. People take it as a status to use a, a big car to drive. I think it's important now for us to see we are seen as stronger people, as a strong species. The, what's going to happen is going, going to be the other way around. Look, the global is changing as well. Kumbaku chaita snow, and we are going to have good weather in Europe. Do you know who my Maya Bane, Neloni Yayo Kungoariza, Kuno Kubaka and the Nayus? Murres, when you have to do this thing, 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 when the ball is in our court. Yeah, Mr. Mdang, you know. Fun. You can't say you don't know. You know. The way we are all contributing to this. You know, the thing is, you know. The moment you cannot correct another Shona person or Zimbabwean person who is accepting a, a rural development or program, or oh, Mabero Arguenda Kumba with clothes, my plastic clothes, my, 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 my polyester stuff are going Kumba. Yet, it's just we can weave our own materials. We can weave our own fabric. The moment you cannot draw that back, the moment you cannot say to people who are coming at the airport, ku, ku Glasgow, ku Amuri, or ku, 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 ku Edinburgh, if you cannot say to an African, look, you are coming over here, but there's nothing for you here. Go back, Kumba. I'll guide you with some, you know? And that the people, Kumba, they will actually look at themselves and see, hey, I'm actually stronger than eating broccoli or brunko. You know, the brunko or cauliflower. If I eat my green vegetables, I'm stronger yeah. than if I eat something. It, it, it's just it's, it's, it's just so simple. I think if we start acting ourselves instead of focusing on Chamisa, focusing on Munankago, focusing on Mugabe, focusing on who is the new one, Povo, we are all talking about those people. Okay? But if we start right now to start acting, just me, I'm using Berekoyan, did it? But you are teaching other people. Yeah. You are giving them the idea that this is how we have to do, even though, even if those politicians are behaving wrongly. The moment we start acting as people, we are already marching. Yeah, that's right. But we still have a long way to go. Nayano. To educate ourselves, yeah, the, there is still a long way to go. Status, yeah, guns in Dinze. Do you know what you mean? No, 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 chef. even passing as a Rikuana Pauche, Pauche, watch on Kungonzi, the chef. Yeah, Uno Firaku, yeah, yeah, you've got an Urusona Bereko. No, you know, if you're yet, you know, not even any money when the Kumba, even once in, in ten in ten years. Uh, for instance, which is very sad because looking, we, we have to draw the problems closer to ourselves instead of looking at them globally. And then if we look at ourselves and we see the, 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 the flight is still coming from Heathrow to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam it goes to Kenya, and from Kenya it goes to Namibia, and then it goes to Harare. There's something wrong about that. You need to change. Yeah, you can wait exactly. Anka go whoever changes that, but the moment we promote our tourism in a in a different way, not selling our products from Kumbakut to We have to hide our products. We have to have value 
on our products before we even allow any tourists coming to Zimbabwe. But the moment we don't do that and we think, oh, they gave me a mirror and I looked at myself and I found myself beautiful. They are taking everything. I was talking no 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 mom kazi kuku areku Botswana. Yeah. I said, ah, do you have beggars there? They got mira. They got such kind of tourist selfie. Did you produce no mom runga engage beggar? Yeah. I got to nyora day na kanya to wona nda tourist selfie ya kanaga. They got this is a picture I've just taken. Look, murungu yu areku beggar kuno. <laughs> And pataka wia kuno wa mweru taka wia tinema. High expectations. No, zatai tauri kwa zato kumusa. Sungiti chinye peru wa kuti. Of course. Na, zaza, 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 kanya yeah. nyiza. Things, yeah. Kuno kune maorangoma. Kuno kune maorangoma evanu kuno. Ndaifu nzwa na umwe mwoseli yeni. Pane, pane mbimu wa ume ya ndaka mbo shanda yeni. Nawe. Uyu mkazi, uyu mga 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 uyu. English is it his second language. Nikata ya ndoe munu. Zikanzi kwa hinda wa achinyora zikipa achitarisa ripote ya anga nyoro. Nikati iwaka na achikuza wati ane five years achita basa hini. She's only, she's only 20. That means akati za kuchikoro. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And how many people? Ana I play a true and kuchikoro. And tarisa azwa jyo shirikunga ito azwa jyo na zunu zwepo ya zwe ya zwe. Yeah. Numa na wajisikana. So, kuno kubano wano funga kuti kuno ikunyika kunongwe ra kuchino mkaka vanhu vacho vese vakachenja unazoona mabasa uyu pano ndiri kushanda na Jeremiah chaye anokwesha meno na matobo asinga zivi zvake zvanoita asine kuda kuti ganda rake ra bibi ijena yeah anonge so kumbeni because vanhu chengetedza vanhu vavo yeah they look after themselves they support one another and they, they, yeah, they look after no, themselves no, 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 any every even the, the most stupid things that you can ever think of they are insured you know and i think it's important yeah. for people kumba kuti tifsi we kuti what is it that we have to insure because if you think kuti i have to behave exactly like the, the european people do or the western people do you are lost because there's no way you can think with oh i'm going to have a, a how do you call it? Um, and I'm not going to mention my names, but if you think of having a bullet train or thinking of having things like uh, the most modern things that you can ever imagine of. Some of these things, they do not work in Africa. They do not. We are Africans. We are different people. We are different people from European people. You cannot take all the technology to Africa. You can take only technology that works for us. Yes, we have to learn to protect ourselves when, when there is war, when there is, you know, we have to do that. Yes, we need medication. But first of all, we need to, to first know ourselves, who we are. Because if paracetamol does not work for you, maybe what works for you is mutuya or not. No more pass It works even easier without any side effects. Do you know that I need to anama pimples? I think I'm number just behind my bed. Yeah, you once told me. Yeah, you told me about that. But naga tambura no gi sambi bibi bi misonga ya indi pamuno. No banda son zino mwempana. Ah, he was in a season there. Tenga, tenga back to Robani, back to South Africa. Yeah. And the Kaisa, half year tube, they were all gone. You see? So some of these things... Yeah. But Mununda and then they say, Kakuona, ma, 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 yeah, no, we need to we need to educate one another on that one. And I think it's important for us as well to actually it's not a forcing way, but you know, long back people used to be told you have to do it this way or no or, or you will never survive. I think that's the um, that's the way we are supposed to be treating one another right now because it's either uh, those people who are uh, coward or who are uh, stubborn, then they will have to follow the the new system that we have to create in Africa. Um, learn from what n new Western people are behaving these days. Look in the supermarkets; they are full of food. The, 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 the clever Western people are no longer going in supermarkets. They go to small organic shops. Watch those people who are wearing. Yeah, but, but yeah. Oh, 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 honestly, 
Honestly, it's a problem. Do you know time you take up? You take as the North West South Africa. Pana Murunga no gara. Pana Banu Ira na Nuum Chinda O Ghana. Yeah. Endo Tamba na. Aga zoke ra soyo Ghana. Yes. Aga chau ra na yes Ghana zuno ziba. Imimi, I'm not being racist, but Uruzuge ni uzere madak. So Ghana zinda. So Ghana tarsa kura ya kumurgi tawa no Zimbabwe. South Africa. Do you know in Indaga Garam South Africa for six solid years in the illegal immigrant? And then by now, and I think and I think and Maria and I eat in South Africa. E and the Ukatarisa Pava and was a foreigner Saka Brawa, a Panakana, one European, but you have told a number of my Europeans were illegal in South Africa. You won't even believe me. And the BM and I found Banao, you went up and asked to eat drive away. South Africa and this good nomi so pakanga ni pa road broke nama police South Africa. That's what. But in hours never stopped. Not even a single day. In Holland, they do. Not even a single day. It's true. They do that in Holland as well. Yeah. Saka isusu vanu vanat. Tika sangbo taza ku respecta na isu zuno neza kuti mama ruzi abe be 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 at respect. Ugadari sa ava vanu veche veche araba. Eh, hey, one of my problems are, but one who could one of my respect. Makabatana. Because. Makabatana. Yeah. Makabatana. We keep yeah. repeating this, but they buy, they are, they buy one another. Pro, I mean, they buy each other's product. They they go to the same mosque. They kind of, uh, yeah, they believe to, they, they kind of look up to one thing. They, they do not have too many things like we do have. And we, we kind of separated. We are too open about our problems on internet. We don't have to do so. We don't have to kind of shout at each other like this tribalism that's going on. I think, it, like right now, I'm going yeah, after you. Gary is coming. He's Debele. I think you know, um, we shouldn't even be talking about such things because if people see that, and people who want who have their own agenda to, into Africa, they make use of that. That's something. If you are a very clear, yeah, of course, you should know. You should know. No, it's the same as Mumba Marco. You used to say that, Mr. Mtankiri Kuti, you know, you are married, you are with your husband, you are with your children. You know whom to bring into your own house, isn't it? Yeah. And you know whom to, when you to, when to fight when, when somebody's a, a closer, or, you know, when you're fighting, you don't fight when there are people around you. Because, you know, I mean, yeah. exactly. as soon as possible, everyone is there at the end, and you don't know. Saka kubata na kwedu kuri papi, susu wa mshituruta wa chiru zechimwe. Tino seva chika mumundiro imwe. You know, chati kanga nisa chi. You know, I don't understand. So the same thing now, if if I'm here in 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 the Netherlands, and runzo wa mwa chiti, ah, sisredi wa rivega wa kungati wa batire, I feel good about it, because I know there are people supportive, supporting me. Why would you then be feeling kuti, ah, Zimbabwe, Naruku, Europe, Ukaat, Nabasa, Nae. There are people who think like that, but at least I'm not focusing on that. I'm only focusing on people who are at least thinking, kuti, hey, but Vasiru Kushikwani, Sawashi, Wangati, Ndati, Varati, say the other side, you know, kuti, kuti, Vavazi, kuti, hey, Ndandi, Chakavata, I need to wake up. Because Tikavasi, Aka, Tikavasi, who is going to help them? Yeah, that's very true. Anyway, now when I'm fine, now you got it. I need to meet up for some time. Anyway, the guy didn't end it. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. I'm going to end. Gary, are you still here? Please, can you press the green button and then I can try to add you? I'm sorry that it's too long. Um... Hey, how are you, Mr. Uh, Muhammad Gary? Well, I'm waiting for you. You said Japan's Japan's long way in Daramba, and uh, <laughs> and the Japan's long way can I in in Daramba? Okay, that's what he's saying. And how do we explain the convergence? This is driven by technology uh, or non-existence. What do you mean, Vincent? Uh, can you explain what you uh, what you're trying to say? Um, Gary, can you try to uh, to to press the green button? I uh, I cannot find. 
I can't find you. Oh, yeah, wait. No, this is Thomas. I need to add a Gary. This technology, yes, it's good that we have this technology. We have to be patient with it. We cannot complain. Of course, we are happy that we can be together here. I've invited you. Let's see if you can uh, accept. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I feel much better. I was uh, devastated today, uh, not because um, this racism puts me down that much, but sometimes you need to, to talk about it because if you keep it inside, that's when people start having stress, and I don't want to have that kind of stress around me. Uh, whilst they are adding uh, Gary, um, waiting for him, I, uh, I, I would still want to thank you guys for being here. I, I, I'm just so grateful. I like to share mostly positive things with our people. And of course, uh, there must be space for such things like when you're having a problem, that at least you can talk about it with people. We are alone here. We do not have uh, like families whom we can go to and you can cry on their shoulder, you know, and you, everyone is having their own problems these days. So it's very difficult to kind of uh, put all your problems on one person. Sometimes if you, if you are a group of people, it helps, you know. And uh, yeah, it's adding. Um, I hope you are accepting. So I think um, yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Hi, Gary. How are you, Linjan? Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Finally, you got me. I, I realized there were some kind of technical problems. Yes, I and did. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you look good. You least, look good. Least, we, are, we are here. But I don't blame yeah? you. Yeah, I don't blame you. I blame uh, uh, my brother Thomas Mutangiri because Akarisa, ah, he overstayed his welcome. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas I know Sean about my live videos, I think. <laughs> he likes to be here. I think he's very supportive, though. He's very supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a very good guy. He's very supportive, mm -hmm. actually. If you talk of uh, him being a supportive person, I'll tell you, Kuti uh, Inini, Namkoma Thomas, uh, we've been friends for quite some time, and it, uh, yeah. uh, most of the times, um, he has been, like uh, previously, he has been the kind of person who would uh, make an effort uh, to engage me, to talk to me, like, privately. Ah, oh, sweet, yeah. Yeah, quite a, quite a, my live videos, blah, blah, my comments, blah. no, no, no. You will make yeah. an effort, you know, yeah, privately. Like say, hey, come, are you okay? And stuff like that, you know. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. You know, say, hi, I'm not dying. You're right in your pillar. Uh, <laughs> <buna matata. laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you need people around you. And um, it doesn't have to exactly, be your blood yeah. family. And I think we are all family for one another. And um, Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys gave uh, me this feeling. Yeah, you can. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I just got into your video when you were in the middle of it. I, I really didn't uh, 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 get it from the from the beginning. You know, usually I like to participate in a conversation uh, that I actually uh, listened from when it started. But, yes. Uh, that's not that's not a problem really because uh, I picked up uh, uh, some points uh, when you were talking. Whenever I picked it up, uh, uh, at one point. Uh, um, Koma Thomas, Anzi, uh, our problem, uh, problem, Yekuti, we are not organized. I was like, yeah, at least, you know, <laughs> he's picking up something. And yeah. then he went, and then he and then a very important point that I lived. I loved Yokuti. Uh, you know, Karatinko Tara in the Nezu Kuti. A Wachamis Awariku, Avakati Chi, Varikuda is Vam Nagawati. We are always talking about uh, those people. Who's yes. One, we don't talk about ourselves. No. Right. So, uh, in those are Kanati, you know what? Let me respond. Let me talk to you guys uh, a bit. Limbo is our. Uh, 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 my input. opinion. Yeah, wangu. thank you. Yeah. Who's one? Ah, Pepe Tanga, the Chatanga point here, I am Thomas. And it can, 
Yeah. 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 That's an understatement. We are actually organized in this organization. We are very good in this organization. That is our organization. That's how we are, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> when we, uh, in Nini, I have always said, we need to be united. And it can yes. appreciate and acknowledge one another. Doesn't matter. Those no. are languages. At the end of the day, we are humans. And yes. Got, they got Thank example, you. Yeah. yeah they got example in the business world. And it can mm -hmm. company, pana manager, pana accountant, pana human resources manager, pana procurement yeah. manager. And it can, yeah. those are different fields. In one company, who can yeah. visa one of those people? Company is Shandes or can you already a whole in the company? Yes, yes. but yeah. you need that person. Yeah, Saka Isusu. <laughs> we, we, we lose a lot of stuff just because could ah, oh, you muna are an idea or you moon de here at this kid. I'm on the very panap. Ah, it can't work like that. It can't work it like that. That's the same thing happening in the exactly. Netherlands. Exactly. But uh, I understand that's the same thing happening in the Netherlands, but in Nini, and in the Netherlands. I understand. Well, I have, I have, I'm much concerned and passionate about what's happening. Pamba Petu. And it's. I know. Quatino Gara, Quatino of Quatas Gara, Isus. I never, I've never lived in Mashonaland. And it can as in the Niku Perekata second and as Raraku Kukuchiretz can a cupi cup. Exactly, I could go over Mukara and Kasha. It's because this is that is my country. I grew up yes. among those people. And it's proud of you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second, the pet is a point here, yeah, yeah, a lack of organization. You can't be organized if you are not united. No. But to know that first is unity and acceptance of one another. That's true. And it can, that's the nonsense uh, that's happening in your so-called MDC, in your so-called ZANU-PF. Mm -hmm. I want a wisdom, I want a knowledge. They don't have people at heart. I, I was listening to it, Dr. So, uh, sorry about that. This message is coming through. I was listening okay. to Dr. Nkosa a few a few hours uh, 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 before, and I was so inspired, I was so impressed, and I wish could Jesus to say my Zimba. We we could appreciate one another. Yeah. Because Nyaya tribalism, it's very big, but people are brushing it off. People want to act as if it doesn't exist. But it is there. It's there. Also, it, it is there. I can only also, tell you from my experience, because yesterday there was a video made on tribalism, but maybe on a lighter form um, by mm. me or something. And uh, she was talking about her experience. I was busy, so I could not follow that. I feel um, this, what you guys are feeling when it comes to tribalism, but only I'm mm. feeling it in the Netherlands and the pain that you feel. The way you are put aside, the way you are not appreciated, the way you are not seen mm -hmm. as human, it can yeah. only be more painful when you are doing it to your own person with the same type of. I mean, I cannot say anything about it because I don't want. I do not want to say that we black people is one and white people is one. I'm only trying to say as we, if we could then have a basis of respect as humans, just mm -hmm. to start from there. That, that was going to be a perfect thing, you know? And I remember mm -hmm. myself trying to, I, tr I tried to, to explain myself right now, uh, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. even a month ago, about, please don't judge, judge me because I'm married to a white person, because mm -hmm. I'm still the Zimbabwean person that I was before I got married to a white person. And mm -hmm. I, I hope people are not going to look at me differently 
or I hope people are not going to think I'm uh, behaving differently because I am the same Shona person. I am the same Zimbabwean person. I was. Yeah, but uh, no, but my sister, I understand one thing. Uh, mm. That is not uh, that common. And it yeah. And then Urugu uh, driver, you are walking down the street, and somebody you know, we are just chilling under a tree and stuff. We are always going to say, ah, we are always going to say, ah, we are always going to say, yeah. We will always say that. No, people can... will always say that, but let it be uh, like that. It, 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 we all have to look at it positively. Do mm -hmm. you remember we talked about this? Like, how do we receive what another person say? How do we project our problem on someone else? Yeah, that's another level of going, getting along with one another. But when right. it comes to a, a, a non acceptance of another type of a person, of another type of human uh -huh. being, that's that's right. that's that's already unacceptable, you know. And I think it's important for all of us to realize that mm, mm, it's mm. the pro problem <clears throat> we are having now. It's even beyond uh, the tribalism within our own country. Because if we keep emphasizing that, I'm not brushing mm. anything off. We need to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But let's that's not fight said. in public. Let's not fight yeah. about it in public because the more you know, the 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 there are people with agendas. They are waiting for us yeah. to fight. When we fight, and then they, they take they advantage of our fight. Yes, they come and make mm. use of that because what what they mm -hmm. what will they do? They'll be like, yeah. oh, okay, they are now separated. Now we can mm. come and try to help them, so called helping them, but at the same right. time taking that nose of the rhinoceros to bring it back here so mm. it can kill cancer. So is that what we want as as the as, as Debele and the Makaranga people? Is that what we mm. want? What if yeah. we just kind of we still need to talk about this whole issue of tribalism. We still need to talk about this whole issue of Bukuraundi. The fact that I uh, don't talk about this. I, I, like I think, uh, my sister, my sister, I, I'll tend to differ with you. I, I don't think we need to talk about the issue of okay, tribalism. Okay. That's we need we need to address it. Uh, or is it all addressed? Yeah, okay. We know about uh, its Correct existence. Me, that's what I need to we know language. its at the face and stuff. Uh, all we need to do is we have to address it. And uh, okay, okay. Wa -ti, we still have a long way to go. But we, to be honest, we don't have a long way to go. There's not okay. a lot of work to do. A simple thing is to swallow our pride, accept each other. And it can, yes. I agree with you. This is what we can. It, it will be solved quickly. Like yeah. I was, I was talking about uh, uh, Dr. Kosana Moore's presentation earlier today and stuff. You yes. know, in I'm not an economist. I'm not a lawyer and stuff like that. But let me tell you this: I've always said, is Zimbabwe really? We don't need foreign investment. No, no, no. Why? It's because we are the kings. We own what the world wants. Yes, of course. So whoever wants to do business with us can come on a business partner level. We can do business with them. It's very yes. easy to resuscitate our economy and stuff. But Mnangagwa is ignoring Zimbabweans. He has never done anything to uplift and formalize the activities. When I'm saying formalize, I'm talking about in the streets of Bulawayo, He is not doing anything to uplift and 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 and, and support wana puti wana sisi wadikuita gold panning wana chekecha and stuff. But that is the goal that we get money from. Even those All artists he's doing. He is going mm -hmm. around the in Zimbabwe is open for business, calling foreigners to come and exploit our resources. Yeah. What are we getting from that? You are going to get the same the same problem as we had before because what's are, what's going no. to happen? People are still going to beg. At the end of money. the day, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, what we are gonna get is so called a few jobs working for these people to mine the gold. We get paid paltry, paltry salaries and stuff. And then this person who's doing the mining takes everything away. Of course. They'll get away with more than 85%. Yeah, yeah. Who's one? That's what I meant by but, the agenda. But That's yeah, but else. our biggest problem is we undermine each other. We don't listen to each other when we come up with all these ideas. 
Nkosana Moro is not that person who's so public who go there and make noise and go with a, 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 a you know, a, a motorcad and stuff to, to scan, draw the attention and stuff. But he has the knowledge. Who's on it? And now yes. you have those people who have who have kind of adopted the Zanu culture of, of driving in in, 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 in big motorcats like Chamisa, for instance. If you if you go online, you could see his videos in Gwanda. He even tried to speak in Devon to impress those people and tell them, we are going to do this for you. We are going to do that for you. We are going to make things work and stuff. The, the, you know, what our people don't know is Shamisa cannot do that. It is us, the people, who can do that. If we are given control of our affairs, our resources, the, 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 the business community, in our communities, if we take control of them, we are able to drive them forward and they can be able to deliver. We cannot have a situation where a politician comes and says, we are going to do this for you. Who is he? He is our servant. We send him to do stuff. We, we will have him. We'll give them responsibility of managing our funds, our projects. That doesn't mean he is the man doing stuff for us. Okay, yeah, that's I understand we will you. Tell him, okay. We will tell him, this is what we desire. This is mm -hmm. what we want to happen in our community. You understand? But if we have him coming to tell us what we need, who is he? Because he doesn't even live in this community. He doesn't know our needs. But we go for it. Just because he's the available option to challenge Ngwena, Nangaku, another clueless, clueless, a third grade leader. We are and, doomed. Um, if I may ask you, uh, uh, like we're talking about, we have to work as a nation. We have to work as, uh, we have to, to, to kind of uh, unite and work together, listen to one another. Uh, mm -hmm. Why separate uh, when it comes to these political parties? Why is it that when it comes to... Uh, now we talk about tribalism, we put it aside, okay? But then we kind of separate again. Because when you discover I'm from MDC, I'm from ZANU-PF, I'm I from... Think I've got, you, you kind I think of... I've got the answer to your question. Yes, give why, me. Yeah, why we separate is because Melissa Barding thinks he's smarter, better, can do better than Gary Toller Jackson. We don't have a time to sit down together, bring our opinions, and come up with the best opinion or make the best decision after our collective suggestions. We don't okay. have the chance. In what, for instance, for instance I, I, gave you, I gave you the example of Chamisa going to Guana and telling the people of Guana what he can do for Guana. Did he ever give himself a chance to go to Gwanda and listen to the people of Gwanda? He never. He just goes there and tells them. Because him, being the leader of the MTC, makes him a little god. That's our biggest problem. I understand what you mean. Yeah, so I think what would be the solution to this? Because as for me, I, I remember mm -hmm. speaking to one brother this afternoon. He was saying, uh, he was putting down people from ZANU-PF, and he was saying, if you are from ZANU-PF, or I, he gave a few options, and uh, I think he's watching with us here. And um, I, I kind of responded, because uh, I said to him, I think your level of um, interest in politi politics is different from my level of interest in politics, because... Um, yeah. What I'm seeing right now is you're talking about political parties, you're talking about politicians. And as for me, uh -huh. as for me, I would prefer talking about the general things that we do in life, like uh, our day to daily life and how is it that we are, how are we getting along with that? Because uh -huh. I, without including any politician, without including any politic uh, party, I can talk to you about how we live. And right. I can spend even two, three hours talking about it without even including any type of political yeah. party. That, because that's mm. me. And mm. those things that I'll be talking about, they can influence all of them. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. is to them to think about <clears throat> what they can do about it. Because it's not right. my call to put anyone down. 
it's not my mm -hmm. my my call to say to you ah gary is uh debele so then he's not good enough to do this it's not my mm -hmm. call to do that i can only see you as my brother there and uh, right. you know and suppose we become lovers i can only see you as my love because there's love between us and that's yes. How, yes. how i look at life and um that should not change because i i have uh people in my because there are people who come on my facebook to check whom am I, uh, who, which friends do I have? And to their yeah, surprise, right, yeah, to their surprise, yeah. they see ZANU PF people, they see MDC people, they see all of them, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. We have to engage them. I don't them. talk about politics, yes. <laughs> yes, I follow yeah. everything. I don't miss yeah. any piece of information about Zimbabwe. I don't miss any piece of information about Netflix. Exactly, exactly. I try because to you Because you are Zimbabwe. Yes. Because you are Zimbabwe. Yes, the more open-minded you can be is to know what's going on everywhere, not to stand or to follow some certain group. Because the moment you are, we are following a certain group or a, a certain system, you are, you are, you are kind of being uh, taken away from all sorts of information that can be even crucial to yourself. Yeah, you focus only on that yes. one that has like and colonized that, you. That's already tribalism because when you are focusing on one group of people, it doesn't matter which color, it doesn't matter which language. Yeah. It means yeah. you are trying to say to the other group, do it the way we do because the way you do is wrong. Have you ever heard about this? If you are, if you are taught to oppose, if you are an mm -hmm. opposition party, you, it mm -hmm. means whatever comes your way from the other party, you are supposed to oppose, no matter how agreeable you are to the point. Mm, Isn't mm, it? Mm. And that's one thing yeah, I yeah. don't like about being mm. being a politician because I think um, I, I I want to be more open minded to be able to agree and to disagree. I would like to walk mm. through the same door with you, and with the, the not no, knowing what your point of view is in life and trying to think about mm. it. Oh, I've been criticized today. What can I do about it? You understand? Yes, right. it can make me cry, but I think the moment I wake up the following day, I have learned something about it. And I know you will give me more freedom to talk about your own imperfections because you have exactly, given me. Yeah. You see what I mean? Mm. So if we would come from that side, I think it's important we don't mm -hmm. Like we, we, yeah, we like we, someone is someone is saying you're brainwashed when you when you are when you are on one side when you the same as you're yeah, you, you're yeah. putting mm, a group. Mm, mm. Suppose you you Gary you are you like sadza with uh, mm -hmm. chicken right and uh, maybe mm -hmm. I'm vegetarian and uh, I only put people in a group who are all vegetarians. So it means right. our topics are going to be very boring because they are only going to talk about <laughs> vegetarian vegetarian. You know, yeah. I don't like being yeah. put in a group. I like to see all sorts of possibilities yeah. in life so I can at least be open-minded. And if one day mm. there's war, I know at least I can protect everyone in the world, not only the right. group of people right. that right. I like. Mm. Mm. So mm. that's why people and maybe get, get confused. But what is it that she's talking about? Oh, is she with Mr. Signoro? Is she with Zimbabwe culture? Is she with, what is she going on with our sister? No, it's because yeah, I like yeah, being yeah, in different yeah, yeah. places and see what it is, you know. Mm. And so people right. don't try to put me in a corner. I don't like that. And I don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, one thing, yeah. one thing I wanted to say to you. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, Thomas Mutangir. we have a long mm. way to go. I think we are discouraging ourselves and we are discouraging our fellow brothers and sisters. But if we yeah. get the information out there. You know, from their villages, and it can Musango Umu, and it can was even the MP where that province and stuff, Moon Wuya is their servant, that's their boy. Yeah, we have to make an effort to make people understand that. Quite a good MP is a little card, can MP or a everybody has to. To shiva uh, and sing all praises and stuff like that. No, yeah. Uzana, if we get to that point, and 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 get people to understand that they are the ones who should drive politicians. I'm talking about the thinking. Yeah. They should tell the politicians what they want. You always come and address people. We should do away with that. You'll be a servant of the Gwanda people. 
And it can, you can come to address people, giving them a feedback or giving them your suggestions. But mostly, you should come to listen to your people. That's true. I agree with you. When I can, if I want to. What can I pass? Audience, your tower and where you are whatever. And it can, you take yes. your notes. And then after that, you know, and as well, um, you raise this and that point, this and that, this and that point. I'm going to push it forward. And it can, the chat talk. And it can, because we feedback. That's when you come and address us. But, ah, uh, we talked about this and that, this and that, this and that. This is what I came up with. This is what I've discussed with the president or something and stuff. And it can, this is what I want us to do. Who's one? You are representing the people's interest. But that's, that is not the case with current politicians. Yeah, no, no it, that that's the reason distance. why I, uh, I myself, I am looking from a distance. And I think um, I, um, I think just to see what, what's going to happen, because um, um, I understand you guys that it is really, you get agitated about whatever, whoever is talking about who, which party. And I think uh, I can understand mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't forget that at the end, it's going to be a merry-go-round thing, and you end up being separated more than you have ever been. And uh, mm -hmm. it's important mm -hmm. for us, then, if you think you are interested in talking um, about what is it that we can create a community that we can at least teach mm -hmm. one another to, to, to learn empathy, to learn about how to get along with, with one another within a society. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's important. Yeah. So at least instead of projecting our own problems on a political party or on a but politician, yeah. we would at least get have each to other. Our... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. think so for me, wanna... would... yeah. yeah. Would wanna... One example, uh, one, uh, like uh, this viewer, uh, Mohammed Ali Chatonda, he says, yes. he has my vote. Who's one? Because I'm for governor or whatever stuff. That means this person has dedicated his vote to uh, Mnanga Kwanditika, mm -hmm. right? Has this person had Mnanga Kwa uh, give us his game plan versus Nkosana Moyo or any other challenger give us their game plan such that you can make a decision or they, they just choose without reason? I mean, if I we are to see, if we are, if we are to sit and Nkosana Moyo down, Nana ED. Don't got it a debate or, or, or public speaking versus the people. ED will get zero. <laughs> but we I, have I, people I, yeah. who have just dedicated their vote. They believe in him. For what reason? They don't even know. Or maybe yeah. just because ED kicked out Mugabe, Zimbabwe's enemy, then ED deserves to be the man. That's not the case. A thief can kill another thief so that he can go and steal more than what he was going to get when both of them were stealing together. That's what yeah, people don't I, understand. I, I understand you. I understand you. And I, even yeah. though we talk about this, I come from the other side, though. I think uh, there's so much that we are ignoring. There's so much that needs to be solved. And uh all of them, they should look at our culture and what is it that we haven't solved so far. And uh, I hope ah, they, at, yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, so I'm going to, the, 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 the tower, I will always say it, and the chat guarantees the tower. At the end of the day, we are just people. We are. These it's languages, true. these languages, we speak, and then we differentiate, we hate each other because of the language. It's nothing. It's yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, 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 do, I do understand you. I think at the same time, um, it's important to listen to one another's. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like uh, again, you know, and it's um, as for me, I think I've uh, realized after losing my parents, uh, your life changes, and I think we have also, we have all of us, we have gone through some. Um, um, um challenging moment in our life yeah. whereby we and it brought us into thinking we are growing up and i think uh those things they 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 bring us into a moment whereby we think okay yeah. what is it that we have mm -hmm. to to think about before you know 
how come I cannot just take a gun and, 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 and shoot someone? How come I cannot just drink too much alcohol? How come I cannot just, you know, because our, yeah. we have to, to take good care of the house we are living in. We have to take good care of the exactly. house we are living yeah. in is our, ourselves. Taking care of ourselves, mm -hmm. I think, is the most important thing because even talking about politics continuously is also unhealthy. I think it's important. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's important that's, for that's us. why it's, it's, it's important when we talk about ourselves, mm -hmm. organizing ourselves, yeah. we have to getting find together balance. to do something yeah. that's productive for, yeah. for our communities and stuff. Yes. That way, we will shut out people who might want to come and take advantage of us oh, in yes. the name of our politicians. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, <laughs> we'll and those politicians, they know. Yeah. They know that Indian, they can... In Pachangu, I have a very huge community yes, and that stretches yeah. all over the world. Kulema Shona, the Zambians, there's Malawians, Bilamandevele, there's Kalangas and stuff. All those people, my brothers and sisters, we talk, they check on me. Gary Wamuka say, Yes, it's important. Yeah. That kind of thing. And I appreciate it so much because it has transformed me, it has made me a better person. You know oh, yes, I me too. Special. Staying in the Netherlands. I feel special. Uh, Oh, can I dare to ask you? So, for you, I'm going to go to my text. What check? Are you find it's somebody? Could you buy it? Somebody in buy the pictures? Jerry, are you doing okay today? Mm. Somebody's thinking about you. Who's one? Those are things you that purpose. we have to do. It to, makes to, you behave yeah. yourself, knowing good. There are people who love you. There are people who, who care respect. about you. Yes, of exactly. course. Exactly. And then you ask yourself, if today I'm gonna be here saying negative things or yelling, cursing, and stuff like that. Really, what are my friends going to say? That's how, yeah. we easy, that's how we easily build each other. By engaging. No, I understand you. I do. I really understand you. I think those are the... Yeah, we so have get to a, get out in our cultures, you could... You know, you'll be having a house, you know, on the same street with mine, and you can do that. 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 You to bother myself and don't do it at a time, don't do the phone, see me, listen, stuff. No, and this guy, no, you go just, and you talk to my children, papa, papa, you know, come back, must get a red, see, that's our culture, yes, who's gonna, who's gonna, that's our culture, even Mangwana, they will know, but you know what, we can't just do anything because we're gonna get into trouble. But yes. as you know, says, you know, adopting this Western culture, you know, rights, chi, 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 chi. We have a right to be our parents to our kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are so many but things I'm... that are going wrong when, when you are living in diaspora, and we need to uh, to address those kind of issues. We once spoke about it before. Remember our mm -hmm. videos we used to make before uh, last year with Lala and all the other guys. And we're talking about addressing issues about what's up, what are the things that are bothering us in the societies in the diaspora and what makes us, what drives us to go back home. Mm. And, you know, if right. we fight those kind of things, without even having to focus on what's, what these politicians are doing wrong, we can still fight yeah. to go home. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, we can, and yeah, we can focus on what's happening wrong in our communities. Yes. Correct. Then that will shut out these yeah. politicians. Take advantage of us, huh? Yeah. I, the tender sister, yeah, the tender oh, sister, well, thanks our a lot, the Gary, and uh, no, thanks that you were here. It's, it's been a long time that I saw you, and I saw you on me last time, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's you. my sister. So, thank you I so much this. for sharing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my that's my Shangani sister, and I love, yes, I love her so much. So sweet, she's, yeah. she's really smart, focused, and you know, and those are the things. she's live, you know, I know. But most of the time, she goes on live when I'm at work and stuff. But yeah, uh, she's one of the people I really admire. They inspire me, and you know, she means good. And if we have, of course, uh, five Milanis in our society, oh man, we know we'll be having like real good sisters. But anyways, thank you. I was just taking a break from a class, you know. And I'm, I'm going yeah, to no, ask people. Thank, thank you too. And uh, I hope you see me as a good sister to you as well one day. And, and you, uh, you are, you are, you are. You know, you know that much. I respect you. I support you. You, you already know. No, I know. I, I'm I know. never going to see you as a good <laughs> sister. You are a good sister to me. Ah, no, you too, you are a good <laughs> to me as well. I mean, no, you, you are a very strong person. You've gone through a lot, and I respect that. Yeah. And I think oh, we, can oh, only, yeah. 
what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Makes you stronger. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's oh, the thing. I understand the angles you see. No, you too. Thank you so much, Nyabonga. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Anyway, hey, that was Gary. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I didn't know this video was going to be longer than uh, uh, 30 minutes, but anyway, it's okay. Um, we managed to talk about a few things, and you, now you are, you, it's, um, hi, Mr. Chatonda, how are you? And uh, now it's like we, we are kind of um, realizing at the same time that uh, being uh, discriminated in a foreign country makes us realize how important we are to one another and uh, makes you realize how important you are to yourself. And I think you need to appreciate yourself uh, more and realize, oh, look, it's not only your skin color or everything that you have, that everything that you own, everything that you you come, where everywhere, where you come from, you need to realize, oh, uh, it's even uh, what worth was the people here fighting for that. And people are fighting here to use the type of baby wearing we do in Africa and they would like kind of take you and um, um, you know I, I think it's important for us as uh, Africans uh, to look back there and see the reason why we still need to come to the diaspora especially to find uh, uh, passports or to get uh, to get uh, uh, asylum and things like that i think um if you would uh, take one or two minutes for yourself to think about it why is it that we are so happy when you get when we get our asylum or when we get our passports or when you get our working permits and losing uh oh yeah a long time of our life it's very hard then to pick that up to pick all those pieces up that have been broken that have been uh, stolen or that have been uh, yeah that we have uh, that have been scattered away you know so it's important for us to realize that uh, hey, even if we go again to our situation what's more important sitting in a in a country where you know you are not being appreciated or go back home and fight for what you know it's yours yeah you'd rather stay in your own house and clean your own house than cleaning somebody's or somebody else's house because you know at the end you won't enjoy being in that house so i don't know um things like that uh, so is there anyone who wants to come in please uh, just type ed and then i can see you want to come in otherwise yeah i'm going to say an end i also need to have an uh, a, a, an evening with my husband he has been waiting for me. I just told him I'm going to have a quick, quick video because I want to share. I promised people I'm going to to share about uh, this racism going on in uh, in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, I uh, don't want to lie to you. I think um, there's so much that I tell you even about our neighbors, uh, one or two neighbors that we went through here, and it's again fighting and fighting and fighting. We don't deserve that. We deserve to be in our own country where we can enjoy our sunshine and enjoying our music or enjoying our food and enjoying our and if we have to come to these countries it should be holiday not necessarily to stay here because you have nothing and nowhere else to go and i think it's important for us as well to realize that uh, we have to reunite like we're talking about right to reunite you know when you hear a word unite don't think only about tribalism i think it's about oh you see another person who belong to your own country to your own own people you need to to to, to support them it doesn't mean you are then ignoring the other european people that you get along with because they do understand that they know especially my friends here yeah, they're my friends from scotland my friends from ireland my friend from my friends from germany my friends from uh from, from switzerland er everywhere in europe people who they know how important to be uh, in Africa, how important I find it being an African, being a Zimbabwean. They do know that and they respect it because they have seen me behaving to who I am. And I think it's important for us to act to that. You know, I respect even all my Rasta brothers. I like uh, the way they, they are proud of how they look like. And I, I like uh, the people who do not have to change their, their identity. 
yes i do not say that you don't have you you don't have to do whatever you want with yourself but the most important is that you don't imitate another culture because you know your own culture is important so yeah why what can why why can't we unite why can't we support one another it's happening i'm really happy with the people who are doing it so far i'm happy to have met zimbabwean people around me i am happy to 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 talk my to speak my own language i'm happy to even teach my my children more of my language because i'm seeing other women and uh, men in the diaspora who are struggling to reteach their own children our language and it's a pity we do not get african history or african uh, education at school it's a pity and we, why don't we fight for that and if we don't if we have to fight for it why don't we just go home and we write our own books and they will be issued everywhere in the world they will, they will be sold everywhere you know as for me i'm almost uh, done with my book uh, i'm i have the pictures i have everything that i'm putting together and i hope one day that book will come out Yesterday I made a video. It's now on YouTube. It's just a little video with some bira music and a few things that I've put together. I've narrated a bit, a bit of uh, baby wearing culture, the art uh, of baby wearing, and it's on YouTube. I've shared a bit with people. I know Facebook does not show everything. So if you want to know people, just go on my YouTube, and it's called the art of ethnic African baby wearing or the art of african ethnic baby wearing I will, I will share a link with you guys later after this video so you can watch and you can see i've managed to to to, to tell you the difference of our posture with the diff, uh, with uh, with the european people why it has become so different and why european people behave differently than us african when it comes to baby wearing when it comes to breastfeeding when it comes to the way we are so athletic I think um, those kind of things are very easy when an Asian or an African teach. And uh, why? Because us Africans have been continuously behaving as, uh, as, uh, as, as monkeys, as the way we are so close to nature and it's well respected by Western people. They would like to behave like us, but that's not possible. So they can only learn a few that they can learn, a few things that they can learn. So. Teaching baby wearing has been my passion so far and still my passion. It's something that I would like to keep doing. So when you support me and you you can um, share the video, it does not mean I will earn a lot of money. No, not at all. But at least you make many people be aware of what they are doing good already. Those African mothers who are carrying their babies, they are doing it very well. It's very good for our children's posture. It's very good for our children's pelvic area. It improves and it better for, for them, for, for their future, for the connection with other people. So we don't have to have this separation that we have already. You know, when people are more connected, heart to heart connection, they listen to one another's problem earlier than when they are separated from one another. So that's what I see in the art of baby wearing, in the art of connecting with other people, in the art of heart-to-heart -heart, uh, communication with others. So I think there's so much behind that Mbereko idea. And I would like to share with you with so so much passion. And yes, of course, now and then there are so many obstacles. And that's the, especially this one I wanted to share with you is racism within the baby wearing world in the Netherlands that you can't even pass through. You can't even, you're not allowed to even come and give a workshop to a few people just because they think, oh, you're not, you don't deserve to any, any 20 euros from per person. So it's a pity because I'm like, oh, how come when I started 10 years ago, there weren't so many people wearing babies? How come when I started 10, year, 10 years ago? But okay, I'm happy. There are so many people on the street that you can see carrying babies. I'm just so so delighted about the whole thing and i'm so delighted about a few foreign uh, friends and colleagues that are out of the netherlands that are respecting my work i'm just very happy about that and um so now that you know what i do i'm very happy that I, you gave me the chance to speak my heart and um and this what i say like what doesn't kill can only make you stronger I'm not the kind of a person who is going to lay back and try to behave as a victim of racism. I'm not. And I have to say to you, I can only learn 
from those kind of things and I can only teach another other people. And I think it's important for all of us to realize we are all human beings. We have to have a basis of respect for one another. It's important also for people to realize that if they've done something wrong, we have to go back and realize, oh, what is it that I've done wrong? If somebody give me a, criti a, crit uh, a critical, or a, if somebody give me criticism, what can I do about it? In, if I heard what I've done, and um, even me, I'm not a perfect person either. I make mistakes. But do we learn from our mistakes? I fail to learn from my mistakes as well, but I try my best to talk about them like I'm doing right now. So I think it's important... Uh, so for us not to focus, I think it, it, I can only, um, like like I said, I, uh, just forgive me if you think I'm avoiding to talk about politics from Zimbabwe. But I can only say this, focus also on yourself, look, at, look around you, be happy with what you see and what you can't change. Please try to put it aside and think, oh, it can, it's not like miracles will happen. But, you know, the more you shout about it, the less, the more disappointment you're going to get. So I think it's important for us to lay back and just see what's going to happen, especially in Zimbabwe. The more we fight, the more we invite either missionaries, you know, in Dutch they call them Zendelingen. The more we invite those uh, developmental programs, the more we invite those people who are going to come in and they, not like they steal. We allow them to do so. So it's like, what can make us become more wealthier and then we sell those products to people here? What can, uh, what can make us have, like what other people are saying, we know we, like you can call people, you're open for business. You're not ready to open for business. You can only say to people, look, we are still arranging our stuff. Whilst you are checking, what is Mbira? What is this? How is it led? How can we protect it? Not like protecting officially like that, but when you appreciate what this is, when you appreciate what this is, you know how much value you have on it and you will know how much it costs and you cannot just give it away just like that. The same thing. So what? that's what Europe does. That's what Western cultures do. They know how important some of their stuff is like. They cannot just give it away like that. That's why you end up getting those medications which are not uh, worth, because they know they can test it on Africa because Africa accepts everything. They can test it on African people because African people, they, they open their all, all their four hands, they accept it. Be proud of yourself and you say, come on, I do not want that what you give me. I am happy with what I have. You would rather say no to, to that meat that China is bringing you and you can say, I have my own road run, I eat it. How about that? You see, it's not a political thing, but maybe it's also a political issue. Yes. But you can also focus on that and you can talk about it and write about it. When you do that, you make internet full of your own culture, make internet full of your own type of food that you know people cannot reach. You know, you know that you have a road runner somewhere, Kumusha. That meat, is, it's, you can't compare any meat that you find in a supermarket with that. You can't. You can't compare with that. Why can't you have value on that? You know? Why can't you have value on manyatera? Why can't you have value on your fabric that we, we make? Why can't we have value on our beer? Why having value on things that are not even necessary, that are made by machines? Okay, so I know I'm now talking too much and I, uh, I need to get some rest. And uh, happy Easter, people. I know Easter, we should be happy. We should be talking about other things. We should celebrate, even though I don't even know the idea behind. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I apologize to people who expect me to know a lot about those kind of things. I apologize to many people who are expecting me to talk about politics today. We're expecting me to call names, uh, not call names, to mention names of the politicians. And there is enough being spoken of. So it was about me today in the Netherlands being discriminated on my work. And uh, like I said, what doesn't kill can only make you stronger. 
So thank you so much and um, be for being here. I'm going to end the video and um, be happy with what you guys have. And uh, just going to end with some song. Which song can I put? So guys, before you leave, about promoting one another, about uh, we're talking about it. I like being, bringing things into practice. Uh, and uh, before you go, just wait. I want to show you something very, very special. And I played this song not for nothing because uh, there's also someone in the UK who is uh, promoting our culture so much and inspiring. And uh, he's called Miles Mube. And if you can uh, check on this song, he is, uh, let me just show you, just give yourself a few seconds. Wait, there we go. Hello, everyone. Um, it's me again, by Miles Mube, Ramalaba, from Umzi, by Theatre Dance. Um, I'm going to explore a dance called Shangara, which is found in Mashona Land uh, in Zimbabwe. It's a very old dance that is um, of high social significance in our country, even today, um, especially during the liberation struggle um, in Zimbabwe. Um, people used loads of inspiration from their ancestral guidance which is called the Nidrimi Spirit Medium. Um, they assisted the people to actually engage in, in, in guerrilla warfare um, to defeat uh, or conquer 
the colonialists, which was then uh, Ian Smith's regime at the time. So I will play a song by Chioniso and explore a little bit of uh, some motifs from that dance. Um, the song is called Ancient Voices. Um, it's a very lovely song. Uh, it's a dedication. <laughs> Hey guys, that was so nice and uh, bring, bringing one another up front as Zimbabweans and helping one another. I think if you go to his page and you like his page here, please, you may support our brother here. And uh, it's called Umzimba Theater. And he's, uh, many people know him and uh, they have even videos on uh, YouTube. And uh, that's another way of promoting one another without having to uh, focus on one thing. And I will send you a link about this. So that was uh, my evening. Thank you so much. Munu uh, Mudzingwa, you love this so much. Eh? Thank you so much for promoting. And thank you so much to Tete Grace and to Gary Twala. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, Mr. Chatonda, thank you for being here as well. And uh, everyone who participated in the video, 
of course mudawini sibanda thank you mr nkosi thank you so much you know i think promoting one another is not about only complaining about politics i think it's also looking at what is it that we are doing already and what is it that we can do to support who is already doing something good and uh, if we show that in our live videos maybe we can also show that in our you know it's important and um we we'll see that maybe you might feel you might even feel happy and relaxed about uh what you see and you think oh you can even have uh more hope in your country than only be discouraged by what we see around us and uh yeah let's focus on what's going good and what um what's not going well we can only improve that and help one another like we talked about with miss tante tete grace she was really much encouraging me thank you so much for your compliment and i know i'm i'm uh, prepared to be corrected wherever i'm wrong and uh, we are always here to learn and uh, yeah thank you so much i just want to show you one last video that i promised earlier on and uh, it's the art of uh, african ethnic let me see if it's uh, easily coming out so maybe you guys can see it later we are so much uh, so much good in our african uh, culture and uh, so if you go on my youtube channel here you see sometimes you see me dancing into videos but then i'll be also working with them it's going very fast so you can see that video i'll share you with you the link Dark. I'm sorry, but the resolution now. I was born in Zimbabwe and um, in a very small village uh, called uh, Chili in Mashingo. That's where I grew up. Uh, it was a very uh, remote uh, village and um, growing up there was a, such a nice experience as a child. I had my, most of my childhood there and of course half of my childhood in Harare. So, um, when I was 22, I left Zimbabwe and came with my brother to the Netherlands. He was so here. Uh, Uh, and now 
I've been living in the Netherlands for the past 22 years as well. So almost half of my life here, yeah, half of my life in Zimbabwe. So um, when my child was born in 2008, I started uh, practicing baby wearing that I always did helping my mom when she had twins when I was young. <laughs> Yes, I gave birth through cesareans, all three children. So it took me time to recover. I'm still recovering, actually. And of course, breastfeeding took a lot of energy. But I'm proud. As an African woman who came to stay in the Netherlands, I thought uh, the whole society expects you to have lost weight up to a certain size. But what is that size? Size 38? Come on. As an African woman, I have another build. I'm built differently. So it took me time to realize that I am beautiful the way I am. I only needed to be fit. That's all what we want. I think telling this to many women in the world has become an important message that losing weight is not only to look thin like what you see on the catwalk in Milan, but to feel fit and the one who finds you beautiful belongs to you in a relationship. So young children should not think they should lose weight up to a certain size of their clothes. <laughs> Samba ke kamba si na bijana, pamba pore pore, ona bijana bijana. I've discovered how hard it is to teach my children my own language, my culture, especially in a country where uh, schools do not offer African history at school. So, but I try my best. I think uh, in the future we will try to make this happen. Hi, this is uh, Melissa Bode, uh, from Bereika. I just wanted to show you how the Bereko works, on how you want to use your car. If you are only going to use it for groceries from one point to another, then you just... The reason why uh, baby wearing has become very important is because uh, you realize that uh, people in Europe are living a very individualistic. Uh, people do their own thing, uh, families, they live far away from one another. I think it's important for people to be, to bond, you know, to have a family thing that we just have in Africa. <laughs> care of their children so you will never feel alone so introducing this to europe or western cultures is important
Yes, baby wearing existed. Baby wearing has been practiced decades, decades. It started long time ago in African countries, in Asian countries. But so just fast forward a little bit, guys. So um, you can uh, you can watch it for yourself on YouTube. It's a it's a bit. It's about fourteen minutes. So I don't want to keep you long here. Only the message of Mrs. Uh, Stella Chiwesh. I found it very important. So guys, sorry for keeping you so long with this video, but uh, yeah, I hope if, if you are interested, you can just go and watch it on the on my YouTube channel. I have shared it also on my timeline, so if you want to see it clearly, because now I'm kind of making a film from a film, it's not very clear. So uh, feel free to go and watch. Um, now, thank you so much for being in my video, and uh, yeah, whatever you are doing, and if you are in the in in arts, you are playing music. They take Rasta, she has her own page, and a lot of people are doing a lot of positive things. You know, you need to just go there and like the page and be supportive. And, you know, you never know what you can learn from them, what you can learn from others, and what you can teach another person. So we are all here to lift up one another. And uh, you will see that maybe it's not even the money issue. It's the, the issue that we know, oh, we are one. We, we can't be far away from one another. So thank you to Facebook, of course, that we can see and and talk to one another, look in one another's eyes. And um, yeah, I think it's important. And uh, when you, you see at the end, our blessings will come back. It's only us now who need to realize how much do we value one another, how much do we value ourselves. And um, thank you so much. I can't say any other thank you. I feel better. Remember when I came to the video, I, my face was like this, and I was very emotional. And uh, and Tete Grace said to me, "You can cry. You can, you know. Thank you so much, uh, Tete Rasta. I'm so happy to have you around, and I'm so happy. All of you, Gary Twala. Thank you so much, Mam uh, Tangiri. Thank you, and of course everyone who is watching here, everyone who is supportive like that. And Humphrey, how are you? Thank you so much. If you look at the uh, message." Before the video, Humphrey gave me a feedback yesterday, and uh, that was a very touching one. And I've also, I've actually used it on my video to, uh, yeah. And it's so I'm so happy to have people saying, Auntie, we are, thank you so much for doing what you are doing. It's already nice, um, a nice confirmation. It gives energy, you know. Especially to remove the diamonds. So I would say, Kuno Ati. Uh, so love yourself and then love your family. It's important. Thank you. Love you so much. Dunonzi Tete Mucha Muchaneta Vandira and Melissa Budding and um that's the name you know on the Google Anaro. And uh, we are trying our best to be just adapting what the culture here is. And um, 
I think it's important, of course, for me uh, to keep doing that, respecting other people's culture, so to respect my own culture more. And um, uh, yeah, knowing the Dutch language, knowing the whole country. I even know some parts of the countries that other Dutch people, they don't even know. Yes, I'm proud to do so. And I think I teach my children also to love themselves. I hope we will go Kumbakuye. Maybe it won't be our generation either. But we are doing a lot for the next generation. And you never know what they're going to come to, to come across. But let's work hard for them right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love you. Bye-bye.